I, I just can't even believe I didn't get to see. Oh, hello. You didn't get to see, oh, the girls. Yeah. And yes. that's a hard one to even explain. Like, how are you in the same school and not get to see kids? That's how busy it was. Yes. So who, who, what grades started today? Who, 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 let's sound like an owl. What grades came back today for Edward? Third, oh, the dogs. Third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. Oh. But we already had the K. Q. Okay, here comes Eric. So the dogs are going to bark for a minute. Okay. Um, and I'm looking for the live on your me empowerment, but I don't see it. Or empowerment. Oh, there it is. Okay. okay. Right. Here comes Eric. But I don't see it. Uh oh. Okay. Oh, there it is. Hi, Eric. Love you. Hi, Eric. Love you. Shara says hi, and she loves you. Hi, Shara. <laughs> Or Shana. Um, sorry, this is like we're live and I'm just having a conversation well, here. You can um sh she's see. she is at Hi, her house. Stephanie. Yay, you made it. Hello, friends. As you're coming in, please let us know that you're here with us. We're so excited. Hi, Laura. Yeah, we're excited to be back. Um we were we were just saying that this may be a shorter live because we don't have a guest it's just crystal and i um and hi rachel yes what a beautiful beautiful monday thank you yeah the weather was so nice i'm kind of sad that i was inside uh, okay nice, nice but crisp yes yay hi Debbie. agreed 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 i um it is so cold in the morning right now, but it felt so good. That crisp, cold air felt so good yeah. today. Yeah, and that, and that sunshine makes all the difference too. Mm -hmm. okay? It makes all the difference in personnel, in people's attitudes and just their whole mood. And it, it makes a big difference. I'm, I noticed that too. Yeah, oh so, yeah. So, yeah. And recess, we had all the kids back today. No, okay, so not all of them, but you know, how many of our kids came back into the building and many of them out at recess? Thank you for the beautiful, bright, sunny day that we did not have rainy day recess. Can I just say it? That's well, can you imagine like you get the no. kids back that are coming back on campus and you have to do indoor recess? Like, what a shame. That'd be awful. Yeah, so everybody. let's 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 not ever have that happen. Okay, none of that. Yeah, none of that. Well, I just want to welcome everyone to Beyond the Classroom: Conversations Through the Eyes of Our Youth. I'm Shara Grasser, Youth Empowerment Coach and the Founder and Director of Me Empowerment Programs. Also, mom to two young adults, um, 25 and 22. Crystal, I'll hand it to you. I am with my friend and I am, I'm Crystal and I work with K to six on problem solving and whatever, just mm -hmm. building community and relationships within our school. And, um, and I get to help out with me empowerment yeah. and I get to be a part of this. So yeah, that's me. That's me Yay. in a whole nutshell. And you're a mama to two adult kids. Oh yes, well. gosh, of course. I am a mom of two amazing yeah. children and uh, a handful of children that come with them. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I you know, that part. Yeah, I, it is like so beautiful and I hope that some of them end up hearing this or come on today. If I think about it, um, you know, my kids have so many friends from kindergarten. Yeah. Well, I should say Shana really hangs, well, no, Eric hangs with his too. So I just never had that. I went to so many elementary schools, oh. at least seven. And so I did not have a little bit of that, you know, and- yeah. Um, they still do things with their friends all through elementary school. 
And um, like we just went to a baby shower this weekend to a drive through baby shower. Very yeah. cute from a very special friend that um, Shane, no, Eric was in kindergarten with her little sister. Aww. And I just love that. Aww. We had a couple of um, the kids' friends over for Easter. And one of them had never decorated Easter eggs until he did it at our house. Yeah. And he's 23 at least. That's awesome. Yeah. So, yes, I have lots of children because of my children and then our children at school. I feel very blessed. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, I feel that too. Yeah, it's interesting when you said like that their connections still with friends from kindergarten and <laughs> I was thinking about that. You know, I, I was like, yeah, I guess I kind of do too. And I, but it's interesting. It's like we went through this phase where we, some of us were having kids at the same time and some of us were not. Some of us either started earlier or later, right? So like, it's like we went through this gap where we weren't in connection at all, but then you all get back to this place of like, I don't know, needing your people or, or yeah. whatever that looks like. And then, and then basically about 10 years ago, 11 years ago, we started doing like our grass or annual camping trip. And it started with some of my close friends that I went to school with and their oh. families. I know. So, that no, is so isn't that cool. interesting? Yeah, it is cool. Makes me think it's of fun. our racing days when our kids were racing with Laura is on here. We should all get all of us grown ups together and have like a camp out. No kidding. Like we used to do when the kids were racing. That was so much fun. Camp out or hotel works for me. Okay. <laughs> I mean, not that I don't like a camp. I just don't have a trailer anymore. So. <laughs> That's true. That would That's make true. a difference. But camp yes, in. I know, yeah. Laura. I miss those days too. Yeah, for sure. So you had a good spring break, Miss Crystal? I wouldn't say I had a good spring break. Oh, I No, I would not wonder. say it. Yeah, the beginning of my spring break was great. Yeah. Uh, you know, just restful. I did yeah. get lots of rest. I, I need to be more positive. It's so beautiful and sunny out. None, none of that negative stuff from me. Yeah. I, I, um, but I did, you oh. know, I did not feel well on Thursday. I had my second COVID shot and I was not feeling yeah. so hot, but I'm much better now. I'm fine. Yeah. I'm glad, so glad to be off of spring break and back at work. I, I'm not a, I don't like going on break. Like yeah. a lot of people do. I like being with my people. Yeah. Yeah. And you had shared that, or we talked about that. So I don't know, was that might've been with Debbie even uh, now, but who was, we were talking about that. You don't do well yeah. with that. No. Like, you like to have your people and be in your circle. And yes, yeah. I do. Yeah. <laughs> I, do. I love that. I love that. Last week was a little slower week for me too. Um, oh, yay. But thanks for letting us know, Tanya. Enjoy Utah. I hope it's yeah. more fun. Yes. Thank you. You know, yesterday, last week was a little bit of a slower week for me, which was really, um, it was, that was, it was probably good. It, it probably allowed me the rest that I need, but I don't, didn't know I need it. So in fact, I'm going to go off on tangents. Okay, Crystal. Okay, of course. I love it. So last Monday, if you caught us or even caught the replay, you really were got to see participate and sit with us in the conversation that we had with Debbie um, around suicide, grief, loss, and, and then, and then the gift that has come from that. And it was, it was the, this is so, to put these words together, it was the most beautiful, moving, hard conversation. And I felt the, I could really feel it, all of it. And, and then of course, you know, with the, some of the sharing that even I participated in, I really felt like a vulnerability hangover the next day. And and I always think I'm a pretty open book, but I guess I am a little bit more. It's more of a one on one than like just speaking out. And so the next day I was really, really um, 
really, yeah, emotional, Debbie. I was like, I was feeling a lot of emotion and it wasn't even my own emotion. I think I was just feeling the heaviness that a lot of us families are, have felt and mm -hmm. are feeling. And it was, it was interesting um, because as I've shared with all of you, you know, moving through this mental health journey that we're on now with our with our son and really owning my my own emotions and and feelings and boundaries with that you know in the sense of how much i share and all of that and so i do want to share with you all that you know we we've been very fortunate that we found and tyler had his first appointment um with someone on that's going to be part of his mental health team and feel he actually feels hopeful and Good. this weekend we went over to whidbey island um the three of us dean my husband dean and myself and then tyler and i walked away from the weekend yesterday and when we got home and i thought honest to god if that's what I felt and what I feel like I experienced was that was the feeling of hope. Like mm -hmm. I absolutely that weekend together felt like what hope would feel like. Yeah. Like I saw a spark in him. I saw just, I mean, and he got his vaccine, so he wasn't feeling well either, but outside of that, it just, there was something really, refreshing something that really allowed me to really take a deep breath allowed me to be in gratitude and just feel a feel hope mm -hmm. and i don't know that it necessarily i'd be feeling that without having had the conversation that we had on monday yeah yeah and like rachel shared here that she and i have been talking oh. and you know she had some takeaway tools from Monday that helped her get through a really hard week. And I mean, I don't, I don't know if, if I'm going to get the right words out here, but it, you know, that was a super hard conversation. And I mean, it, in so many different directions and, you know, in my mind, it was the loss in the sense of suicide um, but really there was so much more that came out of it. Like the loss, we're gonna lose people. I mean, that just is, that's inevitable, mm -hmm. right? Where death is gonna happen and we're gonna feel it somehow. And, um, really having people and really having, uh, tools and, uh, is so so valuable and i i felt gosh is the right word like honored or uh, mm. just to know that rachel you know felt like she could send me a message and say you know thank you for monday and you know this is hard this is hard I, it just made me feel so like thankful that I know I could reach out to Rachel any day. You know, I trust that. And to know that she felt that with me and and that came from us just saying one day that hey, let's just have these hard conversations and and it it, it just means a lot. And yeah. um and you know, and I want to say it, it wasn't that was one of the big takeaways. It wasn't just suicide. We have right. loss yeah. and we and everybody has it. And it's um, it's yeah. just how we how we do it, and how we do it is going to be different for everyone, and we need to be okay with that. And how we feel like we need to help is different for everyone, and we need to be okay with that. Yep. And I don't know if it came from this or from other stuff that we've talked about all week long, but just being is really mm -hmm. key. Just be being. And yeah. so, yeah, yeah, so it's tough, it's tough. Yeah, well, and you know, one of one of my takeaways, so like I have this whole list, by the way, of takeaways, <laughs> because I, I've got to get out an email. And, um, but 
you know, one of them that we talked about is that we have a responsibility. Like every single one of us has a responsibility for keeping this conversation around suicide, around loss, around grief, all of that. We have a responsibility to keeping that an open conversation and really normalizing mm -hmm. the conversation. And what was interesting when I reshared our live, when I initially promoted this and Debbie being our gift, guest and our gift, I did put her story of loss, grief, and the gift that came from it. I didn't put suicide in there. And so when I went to reshare it, I caught myself not wanting to put it in there either. And I would kept asking myself, what is that about? If more responsible, we have a responsibility for normalizing this conversation. First of all, we have to be able to use the word. Yeah. And so I changed it and that this was a story. This was a conversation about suicide, yeah. loss, grief, and a gift. Because again, right? We don't want to, it's uncomfortable. We don't know what it's going to bring up in somebody else, but that's okay. Let it come up. Let's talk yeah. about it. We want to be safe for everybody. And, yeah. and in being safe, I should say we want to be careful, but yeah, there's a fine line. Yeah. We don't want to trigger somebody bad, right. but we want to normalize the, the talk. Yeah. We want people to feel safe to talk, yeah. but yeah, it's, but I think we're doing it right. I think that, you know, we're just speaking our truth and yeah. we had several people share some really big stuff last week. Um, it's, it's, uh, and Debbie shared with us that, you know, her niece had shared some really deep stuff. And um, so, yeah, I think we're doing, I think we're doing what we're supposed to do. That responsibility is feeling like we are taking it on. Yeah. And, yeah. and yeah, we're, we're going to catch ourselves play safe. And I think that that's normal. I think that's okay. And I, I'm saying it as I'm trying to give myself grace because you know me, when we get done with these lives, it's like, Oh my gosh, I would have said this. I should have said this. I wish I did, or I wish I didn't, or why did I cry? It's like, that's okay. It's okay. Give okay. myself some grace. It's like this, we are real and we are raw and, and, and that's okay. And yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. In our humanness, right? Like, mm -hmm. whoo, it's so much easier to stay in our doing mode or just staying yeah. in action and like and I think you know and it's harder to just be like without yeah. a plan without a structure without a script which I mean honestly Crystal that's the beauty in what this is because we unless we have a guest we don't have a script like we both showed up today and we're like uh what are we going to talk about and I said well I do know that I'm open to sharing like how I was feeling after Monday and like what came of my weekend because I had shared with so many of the people that hang with us on Mondays, um, our, our people and, yeah. and I love that. But, but you know, we don't, we don't plan ahead. We just know we're coming together. Yeah. It's so true. It's so true. Yeah. yeah absolutely. So good. It is uh, really good. Speaking of this, I'm assuming that your mom is going to watch this or she's watching. Okay. I'm well, waiting for, I'm like looking at the notes, like, okay, is she going to say, yep, I'm here. Um, I don't know if she's here tonight, but okay. Sure. This is why I called you this morning, but we, this is, there's never a problem of us finding something to talk about. Like, <laughs> let's be real. What I really called you for this morning that I never said a word about is I bought felt because I was going to try to make hearts because yeah. I didn't have it in my heart to ask your mom to make more hearts because she's already made so many. Wait, oh, it's in my coat over there. I, I want to show. So because I, I want to show. I just had to give two more to a little kiddo that's already had two. But yeah. I cannot yeah. deny him a heart. Like, come right. on. So let's show our friends here what we're talking about because I have lots I want to say about this. Okay. Look at those hearts. Shara's mama 
make these hearts. Um, we call them a heart in a pocket um, or heart in your hand, however you wish. And I have, I wrote up a little thing, something our mom said to me, uh, you know, that these are, you could, I, I don't have it in front of me to read it to you, but these are for you to have and hold, to hide in your pocket, take it out if you need a hug. It's like hug in a pocket. That was the other thing. Um, take it out if you need a hug and they're felt so you could rub it. Feels so good. I have mm -hmm. one. I'm not going to lie. It's in my coat pocket. Um, but she made one for every single kindergartner that came back, first grader that came back, second grader that came back. And I just one day was like, oh, if you could make one for everyone in the school, like it was no big deal, people. Like I'm thinking no big deal. And totally not, I, this is nothing I want your mommy to hear. I wasn't trying to be disrespectful thinking that you should just be a heart machine. I did not think about the process. I just wanted them. Okay, I own it. So anyways, all of our kids got them. One of our first graders that got one last year has now already gotten two as well. And then he loves his heart in a pocket. It helps him. Tracy, I have one in my office for you. Um, he has, he, um, he needs it. Like he's working so hard to be at school when he really wants to be with his family. And um, I know, isn't it so sweet, Rachel? I'm telling you, it's the cutest thing ever. And and he does keep it in his pocket and he keeps it in a little bin. Well, then he sneaks it home and then he needs another one. And so that's oh. why. But, okay, this whole thing, I, what I wanted to share with our community, the beauty of these hearts, but I think, okay, I'm gonna make these over spring break because don't laugh, it's so true. Because I'm too, yeah. I don't wanna ask your mom to try to make a hundred more, but I needed, I don't even know how many more, but I needed them for the third through six. And, and so I bought some felt and I bought the needle, but I didn't know what kind of needle. And so I bought a couple different sizes and I bought a couple different threads and I was gonna cut them out with Shana's great scissors I haven't even taken out of the bag, people. I'm so intimidated. So I was thinking I wanted to call Shara this morning and say, Shara, can I donate this felt to your mom? I can't yeah. do it. And then I had this great idea that I would love to have a day with your mom and she could actually teach me how to make them, even if I only uh, make one. But I would love to spend a whole day making these with her. She would love that. Okay, so... Yes, yes, and yes. I'm looking at all these comments. So, yeah. okay, Steph, I can totally hook you up. I can hook you up. And um, yes, Stephanie, they are like an anchor. They absolutely are, and they're, yeah. they're for. Yeah. I mean, they're for anyone actually, but they're something our kiddos can have that are tangible. Yeah. To keep in their pocket. I have a little kiddo keeping his in his backpack so that they're easily accessible. So they're that reminder that you are loved. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's, like, oh, yes. it's like a hug. Um, yeah. But it's like that, that just that to give them that moment of, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I matter. And, I, somebody yeah. loves me. And um, my mom, Crystal, I know my mom is working on more. I even think she got somebody else to start making some to help her. So but... But we're always going to need more. So what, how fun would that absolutely be? I know, because look what I just did. I just put it out in the world. Everybody's going to want yeah. them. I'm yeah. sorry, Mom. I'm sorry. But I just, there's so many things. I want you to know how much I appreciate it. I want you to know how much my kids yeah. love it. They do. They absolutely do. It's a hug in their pocket. And if they need a hug, they can pull it out. And the, the second part to these hearts, just to share when you guys get your hearts, is that when we're not in COVID times, these hearts are also a gift that when they don't need it anymore, they can give it to somebody else that they know needs it. And I got to see this in, in actual action last year, the kids that really, they didn't need a heart. They don't, they're not sad. They're not, you know, mm -hmm. having separation or whatever. And, but they could see a kid all by themselves over there in the playground and they would give them a heart. It's like oh. the most precious moment. Or I feel like they should always get two. Like one well, we can do that. One to keep away. And now I well, your mom's already mom. working too hard. I know. But if we all tag team and, and we jump in on this, 
Um, yeah, I, I love that. They make them by hand, you guys. They're making these yeah. hearts by hand. Like, I thought, oh, Shannon can sew them on a sewing machine. It's not the same. She, no, she cut. No, it's not. She cuts and then she stitches around by hand. Yeah. She a little whip stitch or something. And she yeah. just sat here over Easter. And when we were watching, like, you know, the March Madness game, she just sat there and just stitched. And she got some really cool variegated. So it's like different shades of. It's really cute, but yeah, I was gonna yeah. do that. I really was. I had good plans. Watch yeah. TV and sew hearts. I don't know how to sew. Oh my gosh. Yep. We can have mom, we can have mom teach you. Um, yes, um, Rachel. Um, we need to connect so that you could I can get you to. I I think that that would be really, really good. I can um, see I Rachel. That. I see Rachel. I can give yeah. her some. Oh, okay. I can get them to you then since you see her. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I think that there's a lot and you know, a lot of times the kiddos, they like also knowing that they were made by grandma. I know at um, hope for homies, when I give them to the kids, they are really attached to the fact that a grandma made them. And that just makes, I think gives it that little bit of extra. No, um, it really so does. Sweet. So yeah. It really does. That's part of the story. I was so gifted with the privilege of the teachers let me actually, uh, it was the second grade teachers because they were the first one back in our building. Oh. And they let me actually come into the class and read the little poem thing. I wish I had it here to share. I wasn't planning on doing this, but um, since I didn't tell you this morning, I, um, so anyways, I, they let me go in and tell the kids and I was, and, and then I went into one of our first grade classes and talked to her class about it. And I'm like, you guys, this is my friend's mom. Like this is a grandma that's making these for you. And they're so cute. They're like, does a grandma make them on when, when she's watching TV? Like they're so cute. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. But, oh, see, look what I've done. I, I'm, I, I look it. I know we might have to start. We might have to start. Making a and I don't, she's not even here. I was really hoping she would be here. And I know, mom, what's up? <laughs> the one that's the biggest pusher, our biggest cheerleader, and she doesn't even yeah. show up live. What? Oh, yeah. Dad. With her initials. Oh. You can sew? Shoo, you are a jack of all trades, friend. No kidding. I use, I like to think I can. I probably, honestly, I probably could figure this out. I mean, yeah. Oh, Carly, you are the craft queen. Yes. You guys, oh I gosh. could. I know I could do it. I knew I do. I know yeah. I could do it. That's why I bought all the stuff. It's right over here. And I, you know what? Um, this is like a heart cookie cutter size in this bag. Like, right? Well, like, I brought a heart home. I brought, I have one that's in my pocket. And then I brought one home to use to, I was going to trace it. And my dog got it. Little Mister needed a heart too. It's here somewhere, and so he—it's still a heart, but it's sad. <laughs> See? <laughs> it's a little deflated. Yeah, but um, but that's okay. It's loved. It's yeah. loved. He he needed it, but I—it's not that I don't know that I—I I know I can do it. But it's just not the same. It's your mom. And yeah. and I know we can all make it and we can all make a difference with these hearts. And that's what your mom would really want. So I love that other people want to do it. Yeah. But for my little kidlets, I've already started. Like I just need them from her. Yeah. And 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 then we could carry this on for other schools. And and I definitely do have two that I could take to Rachel. She is absolutely okay. right. Those babies are going to need them. I, yeah. I, I love that. Yep. 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 And um, if they lose uh, them, that yeah. just means somebody else got blessed with them and we yep. just give them a new one. I mean, yes. that's what I had to tell my little one today. I said, it's okay. I think you should take two because that way you have one to give. And or if you lose one, then you have an extra. Because he was so yeah. sad to have to tell me that he lost his heart. I'm, it's okay. Isn't that interesting? So I'll tell you a little story about my special friend that has already had two. Um, today, I wasn't available to hang with him. I'm sorry about the light. I'm trying to avoid the light here. I, I wasn't av yeah. as available for him. And which makes my heart so happy that he wanted me. But so sad I couldn't be there, right? And... Um, 
but anyway, so he, he is not wanting to be in class, wants to take a break, wants this, wants that. And so the principal ended up going to hang with him and, and he's like, I want Miss Litz. And, oh. and she's like, she's not available right now. So she's like pulling out all these cards. She was amazing with him. Um, she told me all about it. It just made my, my heart so happy. Well, I'm like, well, did he have his heart? Like, did you give him offer his heart? What, what's wrong with you? And she goes, no, that was the cute thing. He did have his heart and he was holding it. And he was I like, he just, you. It's like, yeah, it's so cute. Um, but it was, a, it was a good day. And he made it. He made it the whole day. He has his heart. He's totally good. And he used it as an anchor. And he knows that it's given to him with love. It's all the good things. All of it. That is so great. That's awesome. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. I'll make sure she watches. I'll take her. Or I'll make her, I was gonna say I make her feel guilty, but that's not a good thing. I don't need to do that to my mom. Maybe she's stitching right now, friends. Like yeah, maybe I'll she's making she's hearts. Like, yeah, she might. Yeah, be. we'll see in the notes. What do yeah. you mean? You feel guilty? I was sewing my little heart out. What are you doing to me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I'm so, so glad sorry. everybody loved the idea. Loves the idea. It is yeah. a super sweet idea. Yeah. It is. It is. It's just that little tangible, the tangible reminder, which a lot of us that it's a little, the reminder to actually be able to physically hold it is, yeah. um, provides a lot of value. Yeah. Well, and I get crazy silly about stuff. Like I think that this is the most amazing, great idea in the whole world. Like I think everybody's going to want a heart. And then I get to this, you know, when I put them all in the bag and ready for the kids to come back and I'm thinking, what if the teachers think it's silly? What if they don't like it? What if it's, you know, I, all that negative stuff? No, the teachers were like, so, oh, this is lovely. Yeah. Because the teachers actually, and I didn't know they were doing this, but they actually have a whole kit for these kids when they come back at their desk so that they have like a little fidget thingy or a little comfort oh. thingy. Like they thought of it. Uh, you know, and this was just an addition to that in most of these classes. So, you know, they were thinking of it too. Uh, th everybody is thinking, uh, knows, they know these kids need a little something extra. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I, and I think we're going to, we're going to see that need mm -hmm. in your mm -hmm. care, our kiddos yeah. going back to school and just still through these transitions. I can see that happening. needing that's going to happen through next year, next school year. Yeah. Yeah. So I love that they're, they're receptive and open to that. Yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty awesome to Very see. Cool. Very cool. Yeah. What is everybody else up to? I, I just stole the whole conversation. What's everybody else doing? It was a good conversation. I look know. at, look at the chat. Yay. No, that's good. I love it. I love it. Um, I want to know how the girls felt about today, Katie. I see that you're on here and they no need to ever say sorry, by the way. But I want to know how the girls did. What did they think about school today? The the different walls they got to see. Yeah. Remember, and they said, I'm tired of these four walls. Yeah. <laughs> these same walls. Back in the classroom. Yeah. Are they, Crystal, at your school? Are they zooming the class at the same time? So, like, even though the kids are, are the kids at home? No. So the classroom, the kids that are in the classroom is with that teacher now. Okay. The kids that stayed at home are with a different teacher, or okay. the their their teacher stayed home, one or the other. I'm not sure, yeah. but we're not zooming with the other kids. Okay, you kept it separate. Now, middle school and high school is doing that. Yeah, that's why I was wondering if they were doing that at the elementary level. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I don't think they started today, but we need to give a lot of love and a lot of whooshes of great energy for them because it's, it's, I have actually heard mm -hmm. from ones that have done it and they say it's a lot of work and they love it. And, um, but it's a lot of work and getting used to the technology and all of that at first, but they love it. And so 
we just need to get our teachers there and help them out emotionally. I mean, not help them. I don't, I don't know if I'm using the right words, but we just, they need to feel our love. This yeah. is a lot. And, and, and um, that, that, that can be through of being graceful, just yeah, allowing yeah. for mistakes and, Oh, Laura, Whoops, Great girl, news. I got, that's really, really good news. Yeah. Laura, is there, I, I have a question around that. Is there anything that you are aware of that's possibly contributed to that? Um, I, I mean, it could be even, is it, do you, is it you or is it, like, or anything that's happening in his world that you think is contributing to that? Because that's absolutely amazing. And I am, who my mama heart is so yeah. happy to have those four days. Yes, Rachel and Stephanie, yes, the teachers. Like, we, we have to take care of our teachers. Like, friends, like, that's such a huge conversation um, in the work that Crystal and I are, you know, we have this, we have a mentor, like we call her a mentor, we're taking her classes and her workshops and like all the stuff is around, we have to support our teachers because our kiddos are only doing as well as the adults in their world are. Right? Like, so we're energetic beings. So even though we don't say it or speak what we're feeling, it's felt in the energy that we bring into the space. Yes. Oh, good, Laura. Sunshine and lots of heartfelt conversations. Awesome. Laura, I love, I just got goosebumps. I love that because you're letting him know that how he feels is okay with you. Not like, okay, your heart, but like he's okay to share those things with you. And for you to be able to hold that space so lovingly together, oh, I'm grateful. Sorry, this light is driving me crazy. I, I guess sitting out here where the sun could be, which was yeah. felt good, is not necessarily a good idea. I had lines before we got started coming across from <sighs> my lines, too. Yeah. But, okay. yeah, thank you. Thank you, Laura, for sharing. That's I, mm, mm -hmm. I feel, it, feel it all. Yeah. So. <sighs> Um, so just to quickly go into the, um, the, the hearts going out to the teachers and there are heroes, you know, there is some amazing human beings that are responsible for our children and, and they are going through all the hard that we are. And you add the concern that, that they are doing it right for your, by your children and all those things. And I just, um, I can imagine elementary because I'm doing it and, and I don't feel weird about it. I love it. I'm happy. I'm thankful. It's, you know, I know that it's so hard on the teacher's side probably. And, but I can't imagine the middle school cause I don't, I don't do it right yeah. in the middle and the high. I just know that it seems, um, like that's an added layer of heart. They have a lot of classes. But now somebody said, Stephanie said that's how they do it in Mukilteo. So are you talking elementary does it that way or the middle and high? I can hear her typing. Just kidding. Oh, <laughs> well, and as why she's typing, because you're probably right. You know, I will say that, and I, I, I also want to make sure to give the same grace and respect for the teachers that are staying remote. Oh, oh. Some, some was a choice. Some was not a choice. Some, yeah. you know, some got like, extra so students or oh, yeah. And, so yeah. For real. Where they are in this pandemic. Right. Without them, we wouldn't be able to do it. Right. And, yeah. and they got kids that they didn't have before or students they don't know, or, you know, and they're building yeah. relationships again with, a class that already has kids like, and you guys know, and you probably all know exactly what I'm saying. I think I'm just saying because I need to speak it out, you yeah. know, like, um, I just, and, and the kids that, that are staying home, I want to give them the same grace and respect of their yeah. decision is good. And, and we see them, we, we, that we care about them just like we do of the ones coming in. Yeah. Yeah, 
Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, we're not done yet, friends. Like, I wish we could, uh, I, I, I wish we could say we're at the end, but even when we're at the end, whatever that looks like of this pandemic, we've got a whole new set of hurdles that we're looking at, you know? So true. Um, so I, I just, whatever grace and love and compassion and empathy that we can show up with, that's where we need to be. Yeah. And for ourselves, for oh, ourselves thank you. too. Yeah. I mean, this is not about just showing up for the teachers and administrative and staff and all of that. Like we need that for ourselves too. Like we yeah. need to be, we need to be rallying around each other as parents. Right. Right. Like, right? Well, yes. And I also want to celebrate you. And I also want you to know that, oh, that's so much better. When oh. you are dropping your children off and you are going to work or wherever it is you're yep. going, I can't get my camera. You know how crazy it's, that is. is. I know. Um, ha have a good day. Like, seriously, have a good day. Yeah. You know, yeah. like, this is hard. This is so hard. And if yeah. you get one day that your child gets to go off to school, please do something good for yourself. Something oh. that you're just like, okay, right. somebody's got my kid. I can just breathe. Yeah. Yeah. And that's good. That is very good. Yeah. I totally agree with that. Okay. So Stephanie didn't respond. She, she might have had to pop off. Maybe. I just can't imagine. But I, she you heard her typing. It. You heard her typing though. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It <laughs> is so hard. Steph, like all parts of this are hard. All of it. Yeah. All of it. Without a doubt. Yeah. There's, there's no, there's really no easy in any of it. And, right. you know, we keep hearing all the time, especially lately, we can do hard things. Yeah. Yes, we can, but it doesn't make it any easier to know that and it doesn't suck any less but we thank you keep moving one foot in front of the other one you know like i tell the kids you know what one moment at a time sometimes yeah. thinking one day at a time is even too big right like so one if we can just one moment at a time just one so foot in front of the other be present like to what we have in this moment yeah. that's sometimes what we need just to pull ourselves through it's hard. And, and that just leads me right into all of this hard that we just talked about and all of the love we talked about in those hearts. Yeah. Let's talk about some gratitude. Let's yeah. end our, our tonight with, with gratitude. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So friends, if you are on with us or even on the replay, would you be open and willing to, before you sign out today, like let's throw some gratitude in the box. What are you grateful for? Either right now, today, whatever this looks like for you, but what are you grateful for? Share it with us in the box. Crystal, what are you grateful for? I knew you were going to do that. Uh, um, well, I so couldn't I can't. share, but you talk. I can't type because I'm holding my computer, yeah, but yeah, yeah. what I'm grateful for today is the little humans that I spent my day with were absolutely amazing. And they, not their job, but they made my whole day. Yeah. Like it wasn't about schoolwork. It wasn't about, um, you know, masks. It was, it was just about getting to know each other, spending time together. And it was so amazing. These kids, the things that they were grateful for was they did not have to do math today. That was a good thing. They didn't have to do math on this day, but they'll do math the next time. You know what I mean? Um, they were thankful that they had fun. Like who would have thought they would have fun when they're coming back to school? And I, so yeah, I am grateful that I got to be with some amazing humans, little humans, younger humans, however you would like to say it and, and hear their gratefulness. Like it was really cool. That's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. How about you? 
Oh my gosh. So, so much today, even in all the tired that I'm feeling right now. I know I said to Crystal, I didn't even put lipstick on to get on here. I'm like, I'm, I'm tired. Um, so same. I Today was my day to work up at the Turnaround Youth Program. I'm so hopeful. So hopeful. I am hopeful for them, but so grateful for like the stories that I get to hold. And, you know, I'm working with eight through 17 year olds when I'm there. And so to be able just to provide them a space to share and to be able to hold those stories. And then yeah. I'm also so grateful. Like I put out a post for um, school supplies, doing a school supply drive for the Turnaround Youth Program. Um, kids going back to school in April and having to have school supplies. And because we're still in a pandemic, we don't get shared school supplies. We don't have the mm. bucket of crayons. We don't have the community pencils and paper. Everybody needs to be coming with their own supplies. Well, my community, like, 10 times more blessed this community with an abundant amount of school supplies, backpacks, and money to be able to purchase what was still needed. And I got to be the person that delivered that today. And those oh, kids so were cool. so excited to pack their backpacks and have this like massive amount. And then the older kids were so excited to like unbox everything and have it all organized on the shelves so that it would be readily available to those that needed it. So, so cool. you know, to get to be the delivery person and the messenger and to sit in that excitement and gratefulness was, was pretty amazing. That is pretty amazing. amazing. Yeah. And look at yeah. this. We have grateful for us as sunshine. Okay, I gotta love that. That yeah, makes thank me. Thank you, Debbie. Um, I am grateful for social media. Seriously, love that too because there's a lot that I get out of social media too. Wow. Um, I would not have found our, like you said earlier, mentor without it. Yeah. I have felt lonely lately, and I just caught you, which made my evening. Um. I am an extrovert who needs humans. Thank you, friends. Thank you, friend. Like, Steph, thank you. To be one of your friends makes me so happy. Oh, you would love, you would love Steph. You I will love Steph. Well, she oh, does have my favorite name. Yeah. Like, Shayna was supposed to be a Stephanie. Um, I'm grateful for Crystal. Thank you, Laura. And I'm glad you had a better week last week. And thankful for teachers. Thank you for that. Because our teachers need people to be thankful for them. And, um, oh, definitely thankful for Brady fighting the fight so hard this last week. Yeah. And I will sit with that for sure and be thankful for that. Um, Lacey, for getting a break in, in Mexico. Wait, what happened? How'd that happen? <laughs> Wait a minute. Um, um named after Stephanie Powers. Oh. I did not know that, Steph. Oh. Um, you know, maybe Brady had a, a good week because he what, had you by himself. I was <laughs> thinking that too, but didn't want to say that. Well, nothing That's against so his sister, but you know, every even our groaner, our groaner, hmm, mm -hmm. please forgive my English, yeah. our our older kids, as they grow up, they still want time alone with us. Of course they do. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Heart to heart. Yep. That's yep. So funny. That is so funny. Oh. Yes. Well, thankful for the turnaround for my teen's mental health. Absolutely yes. thankful for that. Yes. Keep throwing yeah. what you're grateful for into the chat, friends. It's so lovely to just like end tonight with all that gratitude. Mm -hmm. um, it really lets us know, at least for me, as a gratitude practice, that what I have is enough. Yeah. Um, and that even in the hard, there is absolutely something to be grateful for, even if I have to dig super deep for <laughs> sure. to find it. Um, it's there. It's there. So for sure. Yeah. I think I'm actually gonna start a gratitude journal. 
I think I'm going to try to have some intentional time in the morning to write three um, things that I'm thankful for or three things that positive things that I'm looking forward in the day. I, I'm, I'm really a believer, even though I do the opposite a lot, I'm going to be very honest about that. I'm a believer in what you put in the universe, you can get back. And so um, I, I, I think I need to start my day putting some intentional positive things that I'm looking forward to and um, and watch them come to life. Yeah. So. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, I love this. OK. Laura does it every night. Amy, friends, family, beauty in the world and my babies. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Michelle, I did a gratitude journal weekly for school. Best task ever and such a great way to change your perspective. Yes, especially yeah. you really, Michelle, tell me if I'm wrong, but I, what I noticed when I was doing it consistently, like when it becomes a habit, it's almost, um, it, yeah, your perspective changes greatly. Like, right. I, I, nothing's easy, but things got easier. Like it w wasn't so heavy for me when I was really focusing on that. And I started out the year really strong, made it, you know, the typical first two months of the year. And hmm. so, yeah. Well, but and, and I'm good at that too, especially when I start journaling again, I love journaling, yeah. but I only do it for so long until I'm all, healed if you will and then i don't need it and then all yeah. of a sudden i'm not doing it and then but so this is why i'm going to try with the gratitude journal one i'm going to make it a pretty journal shana made me the most beautiful journal she is such an artist i wish i had oh, it to share she did. Um, and so i want something like that and um but i'm really going to try to just do bullet points i really just want to be um you know not try to do too much so that I don't stop. Yes. And let's see, it's easy to concentrate on what is going wrong. And that really helped me to focus on more positive. Yeah, yes. exactly. Yes. And Amy, as a new 911 dispatcher, which by the way, Amy, I'm so proud of you. I think that is amazing. Ooh. You're an awesome human being. Thank you for what you do. The calm and fun in my life and those around me for the most part. Yes. Um, yeah, you need some extra calm, my friend. Yeah. I get to run with Amy this summer. Oh, that's your Ragnar yeah. team. What's that thing called? Ragnar? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna share this because, well, because I can. Um, so Shana yeah. made this journal for me. This is May coming up. Oh, I Isn't that it. great? She did all that. Okay. I and love then, that. And then of course it has the, oh, we're in, no, we're in April. And then here, it's just, why is my name already so full? Huh, I don't know. That was an accidental find. Um, yeah. And I can put my miles on and my notes. And so I want something like this, but for, um, for, for gratitude. Well, but friend, you don't want to mess that book up that she made. Maybe that's your perfect gratitude journal. I did finally write in it. Okay. I, I did. Better. Yeah. Okay. So what Shara is talking about is Shana made me this very cute journal. Like every month has a different decoration. Oh, it's just beautiful. So beautiful. And I didn't want to write in it because it was so pretty. It took me three months. I know. But I did now. I'm using it. I love it. Um, okay. Debbie's telling us to have a great week. We yep. love you, Debbie. Thank you so much. Oh, it's okay. And we were going to do a short live. Look, it's almost seven. <laughs> well, it's because yeah. we're with amazing people. It is. Um, I hope that I can't wait for Ragnar, Amy. I hope, I hope. I'm a little nervous. Her. I'm coaching her. Don't worry, Amy. She's got this. Yeah. I think I got it. I got the easy runs. It's just the in the nighttime, overnight. Oh, I want to eat a lot. Um, yeah. Well, we'll see. Thank you, Amy. Thank you. Yes. Yes. All right, okay. friends. Have a great night and a beautiful rest of the week. Thank you for being with us. And I'm going to just invite you. 
If you haven't already, please feel free to put what you're grateful for in the chat um, and help just let's keep that contagious positive energy flowing and encouraging each other with our positivity. Gives Absolutely. Us a different way. You never know what you can share can often give you, you know, a, just a different perspective or make you realize what you have as well. So yay, yeah. have a blessed night. Yay. See Thank you. you.